Monday night. 2250 hours. December 10th. My name is Jason. All right. Interesting day today. Good overall, all the way. But I don't know, a couple of things that I don't really feel like talking about, you know. Uh, so. I'm not. How about that? That sounds good. Christmas is coming. You know that. Got my little Charlie Brown tree today. Uh, no, yesterday. It's good. I put it up. And um, gonna go watch a movie up tonight. Okay. Good night. Girlfriend's here. I think we're gonna watch Jason and the Argonauts. I've never seen that movie. You would think I would have seen it because it's my movie, right? The, I mean, I made it as Jason. You would think. <laughs> See, I'm not funny when I try to be funny. I'm not funny. But when I'm, I'm not trying, when I, you know, I'm not trying to be funny. I am. It's like everyone laughs at me, like or with or something. You know, I, I'm funny or something. Uh, Really the trick is again for me I'm having a good day right now too is just sensing and knowing when I'm uh, dwelling in negative or badness and then just switching myself out of it as often as I have to you know like I went a real good stretch like a day and a half almost without having to and then something ruffled my feathers. Doesn't take much to ruffle my feathers, I'll tell you that. I even read one of my journal entries from the 90s. I mean, one word, one fucking word could send me off uh, for hours, uh, you know, back then, you know? Uh, and still today like that a little bit, but I'm working to be better. And it's easy, you know, when you get mad or if it, you, something pushes you off of a good neutral mood and then your anger or, or something, I notice how quickly and easy I, you know, the shitty part of me, the weak ego part of me, immediately goes into blaming. Like, oh, you're mad because of this, because she did that, because he did that, you know, because that's not here yet. Or, so, and, then, and I notice too, like a lot of times, because I'm getting better at saying in neutral, a lot of times it seems like it's like my mind or again maybe it's that fucking fucked up ego part will just like start to search for problems you know like there's no reason i should be thinking of this thing that i just thought of because it's done and it's over and it's in the past and it, it only sucks to think about it so why am i thinking about it you know you ever get that like everything's going well or things are fine you know and it's like there's something inside your head that goes, nope, nope, can't have that. Can't have any fucking calm, peace, or nothing. Or we're gonna start worrying about this, worry about your mother or there and this, or worry about this, and worry about you know that, and you're this, you know. And I used to go for it all the time. Oh yeah, shit, fuck, all right, I gotta worry about that. Oh man, I got pissed off about that too. Oh fuck, I'm gonna get him for that. You know, what does it do? It just fucking drains you. It drains your energy. It, it drains your day, it kills you. It's like killing you a little bit, you know, each time. You're wasting your time. What is wasting time? Wasting time, if I have a little truck a grease board, wasting time equals gaining, with the G, gaining on your death. That's how I view it. this right every second you don't get it back minutes nothing you don't get none of it back so to have it wasted by someone or yourself is just horrible in my opinion and that's what I, I fight all the time you know I fight to be in control of myself I fight to master myself daily 
you know, it's not something that you just get it once one day. Oh, I got it now. You know, no, you got to keep working at it. I know I'm noticing that because I get it and I lose it. I get it and I lose it. I get it and I lose it. But I keep getting up and getting it and I'm holding it longer and longer each time. But it's still a fucking struggle, you know, every day. So you just got to stay in the day kind of, you know. Fucking good day, you know, whatever that entails for you. Good day where it's you're not invaded by some fucking hijacked emotional terrorist fucking person narcissist uh, a friend or family member that just comes along so running in people's lives like a wrecking ball <laughs> because most people let them they don't realize it you know As I was saying, as I was saying, the only crime, well, there's many crimes, but crime to yourself, oneself, that should not be committed anymore, I feel, crucial one, is that of the wasting of the time, you know, the wasting of the time, I can't stand it, man. You really gotta watch it. And I feel you have to guard your time. You have to guard, you definitely have to guard your peace. People don't wanna see you peaceful. You know, most people, you know, they come with their little charades or little face. Oh, hi, how you doing? Smile, how you doing? You're great, you're doing good. Yeah, looking great. They're waiting, they're waiting for something bad or, or whatever, you know, or, or so something. Just, just, you know, like parasite people, you know, crush them. But, on a, um, different note, again, I don't know why I always do this, but, you know, I come up with these ideas, I'm going to tell these stories, but then I start and I change my mind or, or, um, or something. But I have a, boy, do I have a story with this brother this bad boy this beautiful perfect perfect uh mid-size fixed blade uh, i just can't say enough about it black jack grunt the original one from the 90s not the imitation fucking ones that on ebay uh from china for 30 40 dollars i mean they're all right for just you know using but i have a mint blackjack grunt made um, knife wear Greenville, West Virginia. But I have a story with this, and this story involves let me tell you the things that involves in the story. It involves hmm, pain, blood, emergency room. Reconstructive surgery. Months and months after that of, of healing. All right, real quick, just a little bit, a little bit of, of just what the story was. There's a, there's a longer one, I'm not doing it all because it's fucked up, it's a lot of stuff, but this is the truth with this very same exact knife, this beautiful beast of a knife. Um, it almost was that. I was working uh, one day, this is back uh, early 2000s, maybe 2003, or somewhere like that. Uh, I would put up swing sets. And I was working for my friend who had a van. And anyway, long story, there's a bunch of wood in the van still. I went to get a piece in the van for the swing set. I had my grunt on me. 
because I'm in there, I was doing something in the van. All of a sudden, I see a spider, a pretty good sized spider, that come crawling out up and like up on a piece of wood. You know, back then, I was, you know, the brutal, you know, just kill everything, you know, that comes near me uh, and stuff like bugs or stuff like that. But anyway, I don't like spiders really. Anyway, it's like, ah, oh, fucker, I got you now. So I couldn't just squash it, you know. I couldn't just blow it out of the way or do or leave it alone, right? I learned my lesson, boy. No, no, I've got to take the big fucking grunt knife out and go up to the spider. Hey, hey you fucker, huh? Huh? And get out. And I went that one to chop him in half, you know. Ooh, you know, so just had to touch him with this thing. The convex edge is so sharp. So I, I go one chop at him. He moves. Boom! I hit the wood. Boom! Again, like two or three times, I remember. Oh, you fucker! He's going away. And I guess like boom. And all of a sudden, I hit one, and the knife flew out of my hand. All right, now me, Mr. Ninja, Mr. Black Belt Man. Instantly, always I movement objects around me. My reflexes are pretty good. I react to them without thinking. I wish I had this. So boom, 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 flips out of my hand, spinning, go down real quick. It's just instinct without even realizing I'm going to catch the knife. Boom, and boy, I did. Like that. Boom. Only fell about this far in the van. It's a little bit out of my hand. Boom, and I went to catch it. So I didn't think it was so quick. You know? Boom. The second this vicious blade, boy, and it's heavy. Yeah, this is a heavy knife. Drop that far, boom, right into hand. So you can see the scar here. I don't know if you can see it, but it goes here, right in here. You can probably kind of see it. Right, it's right in there, all right? Trust me. And I'm just gonna stop fucking around with this. <laughs> I remember it now. As soon as that thing went, right into my hand the point or, you know point, caught it but I felt a pain I've never felt before a sensation and I've been cut many times you know uh, all sorts of injuries you can imagine you know and then some all right this was new this was new one as soon as boom as soon as boom the knife I went and I caught it through the inside of these two fingers went numb instantly Again, I knew, oh, I fucked up. This is gonna be bad. <laughs> uh, you know, like, fuck, fuck, you know. So I'm like, you, you know how you always lie to yourself with the cuts? It's like, oh, it's not that bad. It's just bleeding a lot, you know. Bring that over here. You know, somehow I finished uh, the job with my friend. Yeah, I wrapped it up a lot, kept bleeding. And, you know, then we get in his van, we're driving home. And, I'm looking at it, hoping that maybe it stopped a little bit. Oh, shh. What the fuck? Go home. Uh, my buddy gets a bunch of uh, first aid shit and stuff. Comes in the, you know, I give him my hand. I don't want to look at it, you know. And he's in the bathroom and sink my hand. He unpeels it, and the first words he goes is, Jesus, Jason. I'm like, oh, great. That's fucking bad. Um, he cleaned it like a little bit, like, oh. and it was just like this little. Here, let me show you. It's like a little, oh, little, big, a little divot, I like cut puncture like that in my hand. Now I went to find out. See, I'm an expert on hands. You know, do you have more fucking nerve in the palm of your hand than the rest of in your entire body? Pretty sure that's true. I didn't bother checking it because I'm not anal or weird like that. It's a credible source. I believe it's real. Close enough. Anyway, it wouldn't stop bleeding. He was like, I can't, you know, you, you gotta go to the hospital. So I went to the you know emergency room and it was fucking oh that was so bad. I was cursing at them, screaming full out of pain, you know, because what they did was, uh, you know, they clear it out or whatever, and they had to stitch it up. But then they, you know, they take the big fucking needle and they have to stick it in to the open cut. I don't understand that. Why can't you put it, 
further away, or at least first, let it numb up and then stick the needle in the fucking open wound. Oh, I jumped like three people had to hold me. Oh, it's cursing at him. He's, he's, it's, oh, you fucking son of a bitch. It hurts so much. Um, and they were getting like mad at me because I was cursing, but I couldn't give a shit. You know, fast forward uh, 10, 12 years. Uh, now I had another even worse accident in my hand where I got the top of the, my finger uh, cut through with, with the lawnmower because I was I went to get something away from the side of it and my hand got sucked in and went through and that was like that story is just hard to even remember and, and, and say because it was so insane you know I cut the tip of my finger off uh, with the full going lawnmower I was by myself working and there's no one help. It was a foreclosed home, no one's there. I'm bleeding like fucking crazy. I got my lawnmowers all over the place at this place. It's like not near my house. What the fuck do I do? I get my finger fixed, call 911 or whatever and leave my shit here and get it stolen or something? Or what? I, don't, I wish I had a help or something that day. But I had to do it real quick. I fucking tied it up as best I could because that was really bad. That was really fucking hurting. And I had to load up the rest of my lawnmowers with one arm on my fucking truck and everything with one arm and then drive two, no, not two hours, almost an hour, 45 minutes to an hour. I had to drive with my tip of my finger cut off with the lawnmower wrapped up. So much pain. It, it was like my hand on lava. And I'm driving, waiting on a red light, sitting in traffic, driving home to the fucking emergency. All right, that's a whole video or something that. That story is crazy and a little funny. Anyway, back to the spider thing. Um, so, they sucked me up and uh, gave me some shit and then I ended up having to go to a hand specialist because the numbness never came away. And then I had to get surgery done and reconstructive surgery and all of that shit and a whole bunch of healing time after my hand, big stupid boxing glove uh, thing that uh, year for Christmas. Uh, uh, all because of, of one little quick moment of being an asshole. Trying to fucking cut the spider in half. Good, good. I got what I deserved, you know. I never do that shit no more. I never again. Uh, but that was something. But, um, but this knife is a mother. Man, let me tell you. Give you a little demo if I can find a piece of paper that is uh, not written on. too hard. No more. Did I listen to my whole story? Yeah. Don't play with the fucking knife. So yeah, so just just one little second fucking altered my life basically a little bit, you know. And probably even more if I want to think about other ways dominoes have felt because of that. Uh, thing happening and the lawnmower thing that's just that's an insane story I still can't believe I went through that I have just many 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 crazy stories and stuff oh I was I was going to read uh, something tonight because I said it was the other day and I did it and uh, I don't really feel like doing it now, to be honest with you. I really don't because it's long. It's long. Uh, I don't feel like doing it right now. I don't feel like doing the long one right now, but this is what it is. Maybe tomorrow, definitely. I'm going to read my number one favorite writing piece that I have done. In all of my years of writing to myself and 
with the open mics and stuff since the 90s. Uh, this is one of my favorite, favorite single pieces. It's a... Uh, page and a half. And it's entitled, You're All Nothing But a Planet of Snakes. Alright, I'm not going to read that now. Tomorrow, definitely. Promise. Alright, here's a, I'll read a little one here. Oh, I missed 20 minutes right. Okay. Most people are lazy. Most people are ignorant. Most people are selfish. Most people are petty and vindictive. People are weak. People are gross. People are people, I guess. Part of me is human too. I'll break your face, you fucking fool. I'll show you you're not so cool. And with that, with that, my friends, sorry, fuck, I'll read one more. I'll read one more. All right, one more. No. Suckers and their lying truth. You bastards. You make me want to kick holes in things. I have to get to discipline. Fuck the shit bags. Fuck the shit bags. I must turn to iron. I have to stop a lot of my social behavior. I talk too damn much. I have to shut my mouth and get stronger. I will always be strong. Remember that. People don't act right. Even when you are cool to them. They take and take until they break you. But not me, shitbags. I'll fuck you up any way I can. And with that, I'm going to end it. A little Sunday night soiree here. Uh, thank you. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it very much. Again, it gives me the audience in my head, the 6.8 billion people are tuning into my show, my uh, thing. No, but it, it gives it credibility and it gives, it makes it real. You know, and then it's the only way when it's real that you can put out and do real like that. And so that, I, I thank you for it. And um, I really appreciate it, all the views, subscriptions, and likes. All right, my friends, we'll get through this December holiday season together. I'll try to vow to commit to one a day, but I always do that and I never do it. So maybe I shouldn't say it, but that's my intention. One a day to get through the Christmas and holiday seasons. You know, and then pretty soon my Rogue Nation merchandise gear will be here or a few other things, ideas I have for the future. Don't forget, Sunday, do good on Monday. Get good sleep. Don't make excuses. Kick ass and do good on Monday because Monday sets the tone for the week. Monday sets the tone for the week. Don't be weak. Be strong. In all ways and in all things and in all times. And even if you're not, that's okay. If you're trying anything but giving up Exposing your throat, you're killing me. I can't. Oh, too hard. Oh, what are they gonna think? Oh, none of that shit matters. What matters is what you know and what you think that matters. So there we go. Send all donations directly to me. Whatever it is, I'll take it. I got some ideas I want to do. And it's not living in a shoe. 